Hello everyone. We're in a sightseeing tower in Danjiangkou City, central China's Hubei Province, just behind us, Danjiangkou Reservoir, which is the water source of the middle routes of the South to North Water Diversion Project in China. The water can flow naturally from the Danjiangkou Reservoir all the way to Beijing, even though there were many mountains and rivers along the way. According to public data, more than 68 cubic meters of water has been transported to the dry north so far. Wow, that's very gorgeous, but uh, how long is the middle route? Oh, it's more than 1,400 kilometers. Mm -hmm. But how does water flow naturally all the way to the north? That's the point. Look, that's the Danjiangkou Dam. Mm, I can see it. Yeah, in order to make the water flow naturally all the way to Beijing, Chinese experts decided to raise the height of the Danjiangkou Dam first, after several times of discussions. Was it difficult? Of course, the experts from the Changjiang Water Resources Commission have carried out a large number of researches and experiments, and finally, they achieved a series of independent innovation results. How does water flow when it encounters like mountains and rivers on the way? There are aqueducts and tunnels on the way, which can help the water flow through mountains and rivers. Mm. There are models over there in the park. Oh. Let's go and have a close okay. look. Let's have a look. So this is one of the models, as you mentioned, right? Yeah, this is the Tuanghe Aqueduct model, built according to the proportion of one to one of the real one. Mm, wow, it's very huge. So, uh, where is the real one? The real one is built in Nanyang City in Henan Province. Mm, so, and what is it used for? Well, it is the largest U-shaped aqueduct in the world. With the help of the aqueduct, the water from the Danjiangkou Reservoir can flow freely by crossing over the Tuanghe River without blending with the Tuanghe River water. Okay, so what else? Other like models or products? Let me show you. Okay. So is there another product? Exactly. This is the Crossing Yellow River project model. Mm, looks a little bit different from the first one. I guess the product was built below the Yellow River. Exactly. And the fresh water from the uh, Danjiangkou Reservoir can flow naturally through the tunnel all the way to the north, to yes. Beijing, right? Yes. Wow, very impressive. Very impressive. What a great product. 